What's going on there, folks? How's everyone doing out there? It is Thursday, October 5th, 2023, about 7 o'clock California time here. 1.7 latest earthquake here in the Big Island of Hawaii around Kilauea Volcano. We'll check that out here in just a second. 6.1 coming in also to the Izu Islands once again. This activity is not going away. Uh, this makes it the uh, second largest quake here. Well, tied for first, right? And we need to go back a couple days in order to see all the magnitudes that's been going on out here. So that makes three sixes out there for the Izu Islands area. A little separate swarm back here. I really don't think this is volcanic, but you never know. Uh, we have been seeing a little bit of activity upstream as well. Uh, but surprisingly, this is very shallow movement. It's not at the uh, deeper levels of the trench. This is um, around the oceanic crust, 10 kilometers or so. That's the defaulted depth there for that uh, this earthquake activity. Uh, so it's an interesting scenario. I still think there's a little bit larger magnitude potentially coming from this type of event. But we'll continue to watch that. Uh, that earthquake showing up here on the uh, Thailand area. It's going to be the seismograph station here. Looks like maybe uh, the Mariana Islands also picked that up earlier. Uh, this this coming in here about uh, about half an hour or so ago. Sometimes these S waves take a little while to uh, travel. Uh, but things are still uh, just kind of kicking up out here, folks. We'll continue to watch that. Really haven't seen any main quake, I don't think. Uh, to be honest, I think this thing is building up. Or at least, uh, goodness, I mean, we should get a total tally of all these magnitudes and see what the equivalent would be for energy uh, energy release. That's quite a bit. Uh, the Kurokamachaka up here. One little earthquake. Lonesome earthquake. Uh, let's bring up the uh, most recent ones uh, earlier today. This area is very capable of producing some large earthquakes, and I think that area is also overdue in terms of mega quake potential. Uh, the rest of the map, Hawaii out here getting a little squeeze going on. Some movement going on up into Alaska with a 4.0 coming in within the last hour near uh, Petersville, Alaska. Actually, last few minutes it looks like. Uh, outside Denali, 100 kilometers deep. Uh, a little scattered activity also working its way down towards the plate boundary area. Uh, and for the most part over here across Solomon Islands and Tonga, uh, it almost seems like things are just on pause for now for this area. Uh, there's some smaller earthquake activity occurring down here, but if you look at this globe, there's a huge absence of earthquake activity. Um, but I'm not 100% certain we should be watching this specific area for now. I think Maine regions are up here haven't really seen too much advancement uh, along this plate boundary 4.9 early this morning but um you know that's still it's just a lot of earthquake activity working its way here across this region so let me get a total tally here real quick see what we got 54 earthquakes and you already seen three sixes quite a few fives and fours and i'm sure there's quite a bit of other smaller earthquake activity out here uh, that's taking place in the swarm so we'll see how we'll see what happens i think it's leading to something bigger though all right the big island of hawaii seeing some earthquake activity out here the latest at 1.7 2.2 in a swarm fashion out here now the kilauea uh daily update uh let's go back over here and show you guys in case you missed the update this morning for the hvo or from the HVO, I should say. Uh, Kilauea Daily Update. There you're chatting about how uh, the seismic activity is roughly uh, around two kilometers deep or, so, or two miles deep or so. That's 2.5 to three kilometers deep. Uh, the trend of seismic activity parallels, but is slightly south of the December 1974 eruption vents. Again, there's that little trail of activity underneath the ground magma movement i'm sure uh the tilt meters out here let me double check make sure we got the most recent tilt meters uh uwe is a station to monitor looks like we're lacking one here not for sure what happened to it uh but the 
overall trend here since the eruption halted uh, is uptick inflation so to speak and more specifically in the last couple days uh, now that we got that earthquake swarming kicking in continue to watch the big island there uh, for some potential activity it's definitely looks like it's leading up there all right uh, what else we got here for california anything major going on some movement out here in the washington mount st helens still seeing a little bit of small activity and also Mount Hood, a couple small earthquakes uh, churning up underneath that area. Some minimal movement here across Northern California, Southern California. Uh, well, there's that older activity here around the uh, uh, that borax plant out here. It's kind of interesting. Haven't really seen anything else popping up there. Uh, but for the most part, Southern California in general is quiet in terms of uh, anything suspicious or any type of unusual activity just a couple small microquakes out there along the plate boundary very typical all right yellowstone national park a couple smaller earthquakes as well let's check out the yellowstone overview here and see what we got looks a little bit less active than what we had seen over the past couple days we had a off and on earthquake swarm there kicking off uh, roughly within this area but for now things are quiet i'm not for sure what this is up here this little noise event Sometimes they pop up and go away. I don't know if it's earthquake activity uh, or what, but limited seismograph stations up there in that region. Uh, if this was anything to worry about as far as um, earthquake activity, it would show up. We already see how these uh, stations up here pop up ones in little two magnitudes, and they show up gen generally across a good area of the seismograph stations, and we're really not seeing that. I don't know if it's interference or what that pattern of uh, seismic signal uh, signals are on that mammoth vault graph all right uh let's go back here see what else we got nothing going on too active not too active out there across the mediterranean of course we got some smaller quakes in the three and even maybe a 4.3 out there around turkey but for the most part uh generally speaking this is all some older movement not a whole lot of advancement yet across the Java Trench. Huge cluster of threes typical out here across this area of the Java Trench here, the southern edge, or the eastern, I guess, in this case, and the Indonesia Islands region all seen a pretty good cluster, but nothing like, definitely nothing like what's going on up here. You know, it's definitely something big, I think. Earthquake swarms don't happen for any reason. There's got to be something uh, causing that activity. And I think in this case, it's going to be stress-related plate stress out there, specifically on that area around the Izu Trench. All right, space weather activity. Did have a... Uh, I think we had a little uh, solar filament. Well, where'd it go here? It doesn't look like he mentioned it on here, but there was. it looks like maybe a solar, uh, solar prominence here that blasted off the western limb i guess we could probably see it from this image let me see if we can check out the movies here um let's see here real quick do, do, do. where are we where oh where are we all right let's put this into motion and see what we got here it's supposed to be over here on the western limb potentially um I don't really see anything major going on. Of course, this is just within the last uh, couple hours, so maybe it was prior to that. Uh, either way, solar weather activity, uh, not a whole lot in the flaring department. The magnetic structures of the sunspots are not working out in terms of complexity. Everything looks fairly stable out here and, and, and basically dissipating. Uh, all of these are for the most part uh, fading away kind of like dust in the wind a uh, little active region out here across the eastern limb of the sun but for the most part uh, 3459 we'll just watch that see if it kicks back up here in the coming hours uh, l or in coming days as it rotates in the earth rotates towards earth not into earth but towards the earth g1 class storm maybe not for sure what's going on with that but it looks like maybe some elevated space weather conditions here over the next couple nights. Right now, the space weather activity, though, looks rather 
calm. Not a whole lot of auroras up here at the uh, polar regions for now. Uh, overall threat here for solar flare activity: 99% chance. C flare or uh, M flare: 30. C flare is going to be 99% chance. X flare: around 5% chance. And uh, again, there's really not a whole lot here, folks, of noteworthy um, regions here of interest. They're, let's just watch this. Hopefully it picks up. All right. Uh, anything going on here for weather pattern changes? Well, long-term models. Going to have a trough kicking down here, bringing some cooler weather down into portions of the eastern areas of the states oh, that includes mid portions of the midwest and great lakes as well california going to cook out here we hit about 95 degrees today or so and uh it's a it was a little warm it looks like it may be a little bit warmer tomorrow uh before a trough comes in here and provides us with a little cool down and now this is a rather rather odd pattern having a major trough here on the east and also a significant trough here on in the uh, west Normally it's vice versa, either high pressure and low pressure, low pressure and high pressure. So uh, interesting pattern breaking out here. Either way, it's well welcome because I'm not a big fan of significant high pressure. It looks as though towards the middle of October, some high building up into Canada once again. Uh, but we'll watch this as we get a little bit closer into the uh, month of October. When everything starts to change, right? We always get those weather pattern changes. And uh, for now, let's see here. Have we checked any um, buoys out here in this area? I'm not for sure where that one uh, area is at. Nothing's in event mode. I was checking out the GPS stations out there as well, seeing if I could spot any, uh, you know, maybe some vertical displacement out there around the Izu Trench. But there's... There's not a whole lot, as you can see. It should be right around here. Uh, there's a couple different areas, but... Um, when is this? Uh, let's see where this station is. Is that going to be one of these? Did I click on this one? No, I don't think it was that one. Maybe it was this one here, right? So that's down there around the Mariana Trench or so. That... Uh, Some big time vertical displacement here. Let's see exactly where that's at. Hard to tell because it's not really mapped with uh, the plate boundaries out here. Let's go to satellite, right? That'd probably help out. So, yeah, you guys see that? That is kind of where the um, swarming activity is occurring, but probably a little bit more. Let me look on this map here, see specifically where. I know it's not that far down south, but it's inland. Volcano Islands region. Right around here is where that swarming's occurring. So the nearest station, this is a volcano. Some big time vertical displacement here, but these, let's see here. Yeah, these are definitely showing some major vertical displacement up to date as well at this specific volcano. I wish there was more throughout the Volcano Islands. Uh, that one, not so much. This one here, pot probably. Let's see, well, that's 2016. And that one looks like it's offline as well. But I'm, uh, these don't look quite as active as these other ones do over here, though. That's uh, pretty crazy looking. Either way, uh, it's a major trench, right? Look at the uh, the oceanic stress out here. Pacific plate. Subduction here of the Filipino plate. Well, the subduction of the Pacific plate underneath the Philippine, uh, Philippine, uh, Philippine plate. There we go. Look how many uh, seismographs or uh, seismograph stations. These are all GPS stations out here. Goodness, across Japan, majorly. That's crazy looking. 2022. So, all right, I'm gonna jump off here, folks. We'll just continue to watch this. I mean, it. 
activity hasn't really died down, right? I don't think it has. Um, there's periods of quietness. It looks like maybe from about 8 to almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon, there was a period of somewhat quietness. But uh, right now, I think all the focus is on that area and what is going to become of it. I look at the satellite view. We checked this out last night. Um, there's some little bitty volcanoes poking up here through the water and some not so much submarine type volcanoes down there. But this area that's swarming is sitting in some type of, I don't know, to me it looks like a crater caldera or, or something. I'm really not too uh, familiar with the volcano islands out here, but I don't know, maybe if someone knows this specific odd um, area, chime in on the comments and help us out. Definitely kind of want to know a little bit more about that, but there's a whole bunch of odd areas in here anyway. Got major subduction zone, volcanoes down below or popping up to, um, at the surface levels. People actually live out here. That's crazy. Some type of huge Air Force base. All right. I'm going to get out of here, folks. Have a good one. Stay safe. Um, just getting a little early update in since that 6.1 came in. If anything else major goes on throughout the evening, uh, we'll be uh, back on a little bit later tonight then. But uh, for now, take care. Stay safe out there. We'll continue to watch this activity. And, of course, the Big Island of Hawaii with Kilauea Volcano. Catch you guys a little bit later on.